She's got a quick wit. She's unpredictable. And she's real funny. She's Holly. Hello, I'm Holly with LMAO. That's right. I'm using my first name. Because other people do it. Like Beyonce, Cher, Kesha. But don't worry. I'm not going to sing. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm coming to you tonight from the, the home studio or the comedy hall, HOL, and I am getting to spend some time with my funny Canadian friend, Matt Scarfone. How's it going? Not bad. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm doing great. What's going on in Niagara Falls, Ontario? Oh, not much. Just chilling out in the wonder of the world, right? Actually, right now I'm chilling out in another wonder of the world, my own basement, because we are not allowed to leave our house right now. Lockdown, lock and load. Lockdown, lock motto. and load. Hopefully you have a window. Yeah, well, it, it'll be okay. Sooner rather than later. We're, we're almost, uh, we're, we're in the home stretch. Sounds a lot like prison, but um, I wish you the best of luck. And if you need anything, I could be your, what this could be your one call. I don't know what it is, but um, your hair is a <laughs> lot longer. Your hair's a lot longer than the last time I saw you. I know we're not allowed to get haircuts right now. We were for a little while. I did go get a haircut. Actually, it was so refreshing. I wanted to change it up. I walked into my barber shop. I pulled out my phone and I showed my barber a picture of Tom Hardy. And I said, you know, I, I really want to look like this. And then he sits me in a chair and he comes wheeling a treadmill out of the back room. Oh, damn. Brutal. <laughs> have you been back to see him yet or have you been able to or will you? I will go back, obviously. Like, I don't want him to get mad. Obviously, I don't want him to get mad because then barbers tend to get uneven. So <laughs> I will be going back there. He's all right. He's a good guy. He does that awkward foot pump job when he wants to lift me up in the chair. Mm -hmm. He knows He knows the ropes. Actually, I feel bad because I got a really hairy neck. Like I got a lot of hair. Mm -hmm. Like I feel bad. Like when he does my neck, he's got to keep pulling the shirt down. And I'm like, say when, right? And it's just bad. I got like all the way straight down my back. I'm like John Travolta in the movie Michael, but with hair wings. <laughs> like I'm so hairy when I take a shower, I got to use head and shoulders, knees and toes. <laughs> that must be a Canadian right? brand. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, That's funny. And if you use it, your toes and your knees will not have dandruff. Right. Exactly. So what else are you yeah. do you when you were not on lockdown? Uh, we were allowed to go to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You were allowed to go to a restaurant, two to four people only, which was cool. Takes two to tango. Uh, we actually went out for dinner. We were we were sitting at the restaurant. I really wanted to fit in, so I ordered the salad too. And the waiter was like, "Okay, and what would you like on that?" I said, "I don't know, uh, cheese and pepperoni." Ah, you made a new you made a new item for their menu. You're famous, Canadian famous. Yeah. Thin crust pizza with salad on top. We. Um, <laughs> It was funny because um, I embarrass myself when I'm in a restaurant because I stare at the menu trying to find the entree with the biggest pile of food. Right, I hate those little dishes with it, like a scallop on it. Like, you know, right? We were leaving the restaurant actually as we were walking out. There was a group of young girls standing there, and I walked by, and the girl goes, "Excuse me, sir, can you please take our picture?" And I said, "Sure, no problem." And then they all got pissed off because I used my own camera. <laughs> and uh, were they of age? At least, for sure. I uh, know yeah. my, for I know my girls. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Speaking of girls, um, I heard <laughs> you got some new furniture recently. <laughs> the old lady made me get some new furniture. She was actually all pissed off the other night. She called me in the bedroom and she was pointing at the mattress. Mm -hmm. I said, "What?" She goes, "The mattress is sagging." I said, "Well, this is pretty awkward because that's not even my side." Oh dang! <laughs> Oops. I slept on, I slept on the couch after that one. Mm. And I hope you have a good coach because I think you do sell the furniture, right? I, I sell furniture. I sell furniture. I sell mattresses, appliances. Actually, I'm I'm pretty good. Like customers, I think um, when I'm selling a washer dryer, customers can appreciate how honest I am with them. Like a lady looked at me and she goes, "Is this a good one?" I was like, "Is it was the same one I own?" I mean, this dryer is gigantic. You could leave your clothes in there for weeks. <laughs> Yeah, she, uh, I'm one of those guys that, you know, I leave all my clothes in the dryer. I might as well call it a closet. I got a washer in a closet. 
one of those situations. Like extra features for this. And you could also tell her or sell the feature that you could just put it on that a quick dry cycle and it irons your clothes for you. It takes out the crinkles. Right. <laughs> I say I say I do all the laundry around my house. No, I, I don't do any of it. I could get into the dryer. Maybe you have a big enough one for me to get into to get rid of my wrinkles. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Camera. Oh that's good. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So uh, tell me where you've been um, doing comedy, where you're going to be doing comedy, what you doing? Well, right now, uh, it's a little bit on hiatus, but we hopefully by June or July, we'll be able to get back into full, the full swing of things. We'll bring back um, the event Scarf and Friends, which we will definitely have you down from Texas to come down to the Golden Horseshoe. Get you down here. We will have you at Showtime Comedy in St. Catharines. If you, if anybody wants any details, if you're in the area, you can follow me at matt.scarphone on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We try to post as many shows on that as possible, which is, you know, a way to promote. And if you could like everything I post, I'd really appreciate it. I probably won't like what you post, but I'll, I'll really appreciate it if you like what I post. Mm -hmm. And if you follow me, I probably won't follow you back, but still. Okay, <laughs> stalker only one way stalking. Hey, um one way stalking. We met in New York. What's the memory of that when we met? We met in the hallway. I remember. I remember I was like, I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be so cool. We were going to a, a, um, our comedy class there and I met you and I was like, oh, this should be easy. And uh, you've been a friend ever since. And I appreciate you. You helped me get some gigs over there and hopefully we could rock and roll back in the big city again soon. Yep. Big uh, rock and roll in New York. So American Comedy Institute brought us together, uh, brought the Canadians together. So that's cool. That's right. All the way. I actually took the train there because I won't fly because I'm so scared of flying. I think I'm the first first person that ever took the train there. I, I can't fly. Oh, that's OK. Um, I love to fly. I've been to 53 countries and I plan on going to more soon. And I hope to actually get to Canada again soon, which I'm from the West Coast, as you know. And the border's been closed and my dad and my mom are kind of happy about it because <laughs> I am definitely not moving home anytime soon at 50. So, yeah, it's well, always I mean, <laughs> I would travel more if I wasn't scared of flying. But like, I mean, I'm so scared of flying. I can't even turn my phone on airplane mode. <laughs> You're so right? You're uh, so oh my trying God. to golf. I'm trying oh. to golf though while we can, which is nice. Yeah. Down here, we, we, you know, you go golfing and, and I, I try to golf as much as I can every opportunity I get. I even invested in a really good, nice, expensive putter because, you know, I got to use it four or five times a hole. <laughs> a hole? <laughs> right. I'm also a golfer. And if I may tell you uh, my secret, I signed up to go to a private golf coach and, you know, he's, he's kind of hot. And I, um, I was, I went to see him because I'm in Texas. So we're kind of open and, you know, it's just him and I, which is what I like. But um, when I walked in, he wasn't himself. And he's like, I'm so sorry. To, um, due to some of my indiscretions on my part, I am getting a divorce. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Not that you're getting a divorce, but that you chose <laughs> to be with somebody else and not me. <laughs> But I'm still going. We're still, I always, in my head, we're going out. So I'm How's so, your swing? Uh, it's going to be terrible because I want to continue going to my golf lessons. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Always obviously. improving. Actually, I have a good swing. I, I hit uh, 310 off of the, the tee uh, with my GT, G10 ping. So I used to um, win a lot of competitions when I was in tournaments and stuff back in the day. But wow. mm, yeah. Except for I you. went to the doctor because I hurt my elbow and he said, oh my gosh, you have tennis elbow. And I'm like, I've never played tennis in my life. I tore my MCL six weeks ago. Oh. Mm -hmm. It slipped on the ice. Oh, ouch. It was not fun. I was wasted. Oh, shit. But I mean, I, I genuinely slipped on like the ice, but I was wasted. And then the next day I had to go get x-rays and the ER doctor was like, how'd this happen? I said, it slipped on the ice. He's like, were you drinking? I said, I don't know. I had like 10 beers. He goes, then what happened? I said, I don't know. I was looking for my car keys. Oh, no. <laughs> what a mess that was. Ooh, your knee saved your life, possibly. You no, never definitely, know. Yeah. Don't drink it dry. It was a hot mess. Yeah. <laughs> I, guess so. I guess so. I'm just kidding. I, I actually, um, I, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't drink and drive. I know no that. way. I know that. <laughs> I, definitely I actually, I got pulled over once by a copy and he got out of the car and he walked up to the window and he goes, do you know how fast you were going back there? 
I said, no, sorry, officer. I didn't notice. I was too busy putting on my seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, it's always such a pleasure to talk to you. Absolutely. I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask you to, to tell us your, like, go-to A joke that you use when you headline that Ooh, you're going to make us laugh right off of our seats. Well, this is on, honestly, like, very true. Like, something about me is, is, is I can't stand being asked personal questions by people I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, I was checking out the grocery store, and the clerk said to me, how would you like to pay for this? And I said, well, if it's any of your business with my overdraft. <laughs> there you go. If you have any extra, I will send you some bills. Okay. Absolutely. We'll bills, look after bills, you. Bills, bills, bills. U.S. dollars, not Canadian, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to save up then. Yes. Well, I really appreciate spending time with you, as always. Thank it's you. Good to see you. Hope to see you in person soon. Keep them Absolutely. laughing. Absolutely keep them laughing. And this has been um, Holly with LMAO and Max Garfon from Niagara Falls, Ontario. Thanks for joining the show. We hope to see you again soon. Have a good night. LMAO is sponsored in part by Pilates in America. Your Pilates class you can take in the comfort of your home. Go to PilatesInAmerica.com for details. is a presentation of LMAO Productions.